this is going to be a difficult and irregular commentary. Please bear with me. I think you'll understand. I returned home from vacation to a sense of uh, complete déjà vu. Donald Trump on another rampage, the Australian fire still burning, the impeachment proceedings limping along, and then right in the midst of what could be described, I suppose, as insane normalcy, there occurred an unexpected, apocalyptic and terrifying event, a plane crashing to the ground. 176 people dead, 63 of them Canadians. My country, Canada, is a country in mourning. There are vigils absolutely everywhere. You know, in the city of Toronto alone, there are a hundred thousand Iranian Canadians. You can imagine the anguish coursing through the community. So many university students at universities across the country died. Families, children, so many different occupations. It was a, a tragedy, it is a tragedy of incomparable dimensions. And then suddenly the Prime Minister of Canada says on the basis of what he believes to be cumulative expert evidence that, that the plane was brought down by a missile, a missile launched from Iranian territory. And the vigils begin to turn angry as people ask themselves, well, well it's inexplicable. How in heaven's name could this happen? I don't think it's inexplicable. I think it's pretty straightforward. Donald Trump, in a moment of predictable irrationality, and impetuosity and mental instability launched a drone attack to take out the leading general in Iran, presumably to distract attention from the impeachment proceedings, but we have no reason whatsoever of why this was done. There have been many various explanations offered, none of them credible, none of them persuasive, a kind of tissue of lies to which the president is generally addicted. But the consequence, it seems to me, was inevitable. When he decided to launch the drone to take out General Soleimani, he unleashed, he triggered a series of events which resulted in a completely unnecessary conflict, the end result of which was 176 deaths. Whether those deaths were deliberately targeted or inadvertent doesn't matter. 176 people died because Donald Trump decided to take out General Soleimani. And frankly, for every one of those 176 people, Donald Trump has blood on his hands. He is an increasing criminal plague in the world. And the best thing about 2020 is that he, he'll probably come to the end of his tenure. That was last week, a mournful week. I'm Stephen Lewis.